Hi friends, this is Laura with Papori of Life. I hope you had a great Sunday. It was a beautiful day. It wasn't over, it wasn't hot or anything. It was very, very comfortable. And I don't know if it got over 80 degrees or not. So to me, that was a very comfortable temp for me. So after I took care of the chickens and because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, I keep getting interruptions from my sleep. So I'm just like, so last night, I think I got maybe one, two hours. And then, so, I mean, I was kind of like a zombie today, this morning, but I called my daughter, wished her a happy birthday. And if you saw my previous post from today, my, then you saw me talk about her. I didn't talk about our conversation, but, and then when my husband came home, we both connected with her today, tonight to wish her a happy birthday as well. She's 36 years old. This is awesome. But when she's 36, that means that I'm 62. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not ashamed of my age. Would I like to have my younger features back? Sure. But, you know, life has been fair to me. So, whatever. So even though I had a bad few nights of rest, I am going to kind of like move forward. And I think what's been causing it, you know, the sore throat that I've been dealing with has been partly because of an order of herbs that I ordered because there's some herbs that I don't grow right now. And I wanted to try them in something that I'm making for myself on a medicinal level. So I'm, I'm hopeful that they work. But because of this with the throat and so forth, I have to work with them one at a time. And as I've shared before, when you start a new herb, do it by itself a few days in a row before you make the combination. So there's like four of them. So I got to do four of them before I can start combining things. And um, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm praying it was just the dust of working with them that was my problem. And um, but I always try to be careful when I'm doing that. So after I took a good two hour nap and I never take a two hour nap, usually at most it's an hour if I have one. I got up, I was still groggy, went outside, checked in on the chickens, they're fine. And um, so I came in and I started working on a project that I had been wanting to do for a long time. And what it is, is replacement for these. <clears throat> Why do I want to make something to replace tissues? Because you can go to the store and pick up a box for a buck or two. And, and that's true. We don't go through them. I, I don't use them very much. My husband uses them more than me because of how his allergies affect him. And his allergies are affecting him a lot lately. Now, so why I wanted to replace them was for the last couple months, every time I pulled one out, they were tearing. I'm like geez, we spend this money and I can only get one out of every three. And that's a waste of money in my opinion. Okay, this isn't a name brand. This is a store brand. But they've always, I've always had good luck with them. Will I still have these on hand? Yes. I just won't buy them in the amount that we buy them. I always try to have a couple spares on hand. Winter's coming in. So, but anyways, this is what I do. And when we remodeled our bathroom, we made some shells that were inset into the wall so that the toilet paper roll is in its own section. Those wipes that I make, those homemade wet wipe type things, those are on their shelf. And then there was a shelf for these and then some bottles of stuff that I use. And, and it just keeps things nice, neat and organized and all that kind of stuff. And these fit back to back in there and when I used one I knew that I needed to go and make sure I either had an extra box or go to the store and pick up a spare so I got tired of these ripping apart I'd pull them out and they were being wasted so that kind of put me in motion because I asked my husband David would you please make me something to replace those and he's kind, he was kind of hesitant about it I said no this will actually work out really nice I promise you the type of material I want to use will be soft, it will be cotton, and it's not going to fall apart on you like a facial tissue. So I asked him, could you make a box to fit into that space? And he did. 
So these will be the sides that go right into the shelf unit and this fits in there perfect. And what's going to go in here are the facial tissues. So what I've done is um, you can get these at Walmart, you can get these in different places. These are dish towels but they're gauze cotton, 100% cotton dish towels. Let me see if there's a tag on this. They're made in Pakistan. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, which is what I wanted. So they are hemmed all the way around with a half inch hem. Now, I could have taken the time and taking all that out, giving me more fabric. But you know what? I said, I'm too tired. I'm going to be lazy here. And so what I did was I took this and I think I put it in thirds and then I just cut now. I just cut them. But before I did any of this, I took them out of their package and I threw them all into the washer. I washed them on hot with OxyClean, rinsed them with vinegar, made sure that there was no chemicals left on these these fat these fabric pieces these cloth pieces now why do I do that because there are chemicals you don't want to take a towel and these are designed to be towels to do your dishes you don't want to put that on your dishes when you're drying I don't so anytime if I get a new dish towel that's what I do is I go and I put them through the washer so and they kind of, this is a gauzy type but it's a um, it's a tight weave gauze. So I really like this. And so, and I have some more that I had purchased, but I was at Walmart and I just kind of said, I'm going to just get a new package specific for this because I was using the other ones for something else. So I got them and he's kind of like, what are you getting those for? I said, it's a surprise. So these things are about 28 by 28, I think. And so what I did was after they were washed, and by the way, they don't always square up. So if you go like this, corner to corner, this one's doing a good job. Let me find one that doesn't do a good job. They don't always line up because not all fabric is cut the way it should be. Okay, this is going to make a liar out of me. Oh dear. Let's try this one. Well, let me tell you. Okay. Do you see how that does not line up there? So you kind of have to work around when they don't line up. So what I'm doing with these is I'm cutting them down to fit into here. And I get about nine or 10 per. And so, so far I have made 10 to fit into the box. And what I do is I cut them down and I give them a quarter inch um, hem around. I don't care that it's kind of like a um, little bit stretched or whatever because you know the more I wash them when I take them out of the dryer I'll just take them flatten them out and put them in the box. I'll bring the box out sit down on the couch and just kind of go through these. And so as you can see it fits in there pretty good. And so right now I have 10 and what I do is, is I cut them down so that they're a little bit bigger than the box. And I took a scrap piece of paper and I made a pattern. And the pattern is a little bit bigger, just slightly. It's kind of like a tight fit. So what I'll do with this is I'll fold it up and put it on the bottom so I don't lose it. And then what I do is after they're cut is I just take them fold them over once. I'm not going to fold them over twice. Typically I would do that if these were fancy hankies, but I'm not doing that because these are just basic handkerchiefs. Oh goodness. That motorcycle has been going by all day and I tried doing this a minute ago and he was much louder. And it's like, okay, come on. It's, it's late. Go home, take a nap. <laughs> so what I do is I just fold them over a quarter inch on every side and then they fit nicely in here and I don't know if you can see how pretty okay it's simple with straight stitch right but it comes through kind of nice like and um, 
And I asked my husband, because originally what I was going to do is make these twice the size. I said, hon, do you want these to be large and I fold them in there, or do you want them this size? Because as I was cutting, I could do those and then I would have enough to make these. And he looked down and he goes, I'd rather just have the small ones. Said, okay. Now, in comparison to a tissue, here's my tissue. Line it up. And you can see that it's just short a little bit, so it's not a big deal. So that's what we have going on is, so I will, this one isn't even hemmed yet, but it's around the same size as a regular handkerchief. But the thing is, it fits into our bathroom, which is where I plan on putting these. Because typically if one of us is having um, a cold or something like that, and we're doing a lot of sneezing, we might go in there and grab that tissue box and get away from the other person so that after we get that all out, we can wash our hands and all that stuff. But will I be making more of these? Yeah, I will. I'll have a box of these in the living room and one in our bedroom. But I'll be making those a little bit different because what I'm going to do, and I kind of like this for myself. This here, you take it, okay, and you fold it in half again, okay? This is just approximate. These are about the size of a man's handkerchief, okay? And so sometimes it's just kind of nice like when you're sneezing and everything to have something bigger because you can fold it over and it's thicker and you know whatever your choice is and so I, I might do that and then when I'm done making them I'll take them fold them in half and have a little basket or something like that I haven't decided right now these are the priority and I don't have another package of these I have some downstairs but that was for another purpose and maybe I'll just take them from that or just get some of my cotton fabric and make some pretty ones. So that's what I'm doing today. Now, okay, so these are cloth. What are you gonna do, Laura? You're not gonna wash these all the time. Well, I'm not gonna throw them away, folks. What I'm doing is I went out and I got a small trash can with one of these flippy lids, okay? Part of the reason is we after we use these, we can throw them in there. The other thing is, the next thing that I'll be making are cloth toilet paper. Now I make cloth paper towels and I make, you know, they're not paper towels of course, but they're cloth towels the size of paper towels. And let's see, let's see if my cord can go that far. But I make these and we use these all the time. One side is um, terry cloth and the other is like a waffle weave. And sometimes I make both sides terry cloth and I make some larger. And so I and I have these on hand to make another batch of those because I my girls love these and I gave them to them for Christmas last year. And so I'll be making them some as well. But I'm not going to go into the details of that right now. So those type of things can go in here. But the the, dispo the toilet paper, reusable toilet paper, will not the ones that get the messy job because the wipes that I made can take care of that. But the other ones that just for the wet cleanup, they can be used and thrown into this trash can as well. And then every day or every other day, I can take this and throw it in the washer. Does that mean guests have to use this? <laughs> no. I'm going to always have toilet paper and I don't think my husband will get used to it and it's going to take some getting used to. But if I get prepared for it and we have that toilet paper issue again, I'm all set. Um, I don't have a problem with it and plus you know what? I won't get lint <laughs> where I don't want lint and it'll just be cotton and it'll be soft and then those other wipes will take care of the dirty deed. and. You know so it'll work out for me and but you have this and you take it downstairs every day or every other day and you can get them washed now some of you may be asking well you know that's gonna be kind of gross you can make a spray that you spray on your cloth 
you know, using um, some natural stuff, even tea tree oil. You make a spray and you spray it on it and, you know, you throw it in there and it'll already start cleaning them. So there are ways to keep them clean. Even if I went three days, you won't smell anything and it'll actually, the cloths will come out clean. So some of you may find that's kind of disgusting. And you know what? That's okay. You can go that way. If you visit my house, I'll have toilet paper for you. But this is just something of my way of saying, okay, I have some extra cloth. Let me use it up in a manner that will be efficient for us. And I'm okay with it. It doesn't faze me. If my grandkids want to use it, that's fine. If my kids say, mom, that's disgusting and don't use it, that, I don't care. You know, it's sort of like the women's disposable, I mean, the reusable um, liners and pads that I make. Same thing, you can throw them into here and you wash them. And I think we need to get away from things that are disgusting. If we, when I raised my girls, they were on cloth diapers. I washed them every day. So urine is not something I'm afraid of. So, and even dirty deeds, I had to do that. I had to wash them in the toilet and then put them in the washer. This is how people used to take care of diapers. Now, doing this is not in the norm because it's just not in the norm. But that's okay. If I run out of toilet paper and there's none on the shelf, guess what? I am all set. But more importantly, today's project is the facial tissues. Now I've got, there's 10 in the box. I've got 40 more cut out. And these last four, I will probably get another 18, 36 to 40 um, more. So it won't be 150 in the tissue box, but I don't go through 150 tissues in one day. I mean, your, run, your nose has to be running like a train in order to go through a box like that. And does that happen? Sure, it can happen when you are having, dealing with a lot of allergies or whatnot. So for me, this is good. Not everybody will agree with something like this. But you know what? I'm not here to satisfy you. I'm here to share with you an option. And, um, and the fabric is soft, 100% cotton. It's, it's really, really soft. I can use these tissues, even though I don't wear makeup, it's rare that I wear makeup. Um, you can do clean, you know, facial cleansers or whatever it is you use. I don't, I just simply wash my face with a washcloth. <laughs> I don't do anything fancy. And um, so that works, but say I needed to use like an astringent and I could do that. So these will work out if I run out of cotton balls. So I'm just doing something that I think will be very economical. So I think I shared with you that I got this trash bucket and I'm really kind of excited about it. Now, another thing that I could do with this, and I like the flip top. Another thing that I could do if I'm using it for um, reusable um, toilet paper type thing or toilet cloths, is that I could put, just like I did when um, I had the kids and I was doing diapers, you can always put a solution in there so that they're soaking that up. But I think I've got a plan all set, and I think it's going to work out really nice. If it doesn't, you know what, that's fine. But the facial tissue, the hankies that I'm making, they're going to be great. I'll make some for the car, I'll make some. And you know what the best part about this? And that's right, the best part, when my husband has colds and stuff, and I have a tendency, I don't have a shirt like that on me right now, I have a tendency, like, I'll have a long sleeve t-shirt on, and I'll just take it and put it in the shirt sleeve, and then later when, you know, you're getting dressed for the night, and you throw your clothes in the hamper and stuff, and then somebody goes and does laundry, do you know what we get all throughout the laundry? <laughs> Tissue doing this, I'm not going to have lint everywhere. Won't happen. So I'm thinking this is a win-win-win situation. So that's what I'm doing. Can you, um, and I, like I said, you can make four men's size handkerchiefs out of something like this. 
cut it in quarters, hem the sides, and you're good to go. Now, I think I'm going to be making some of those. Um, my husband doesn't want them that big, but I'm still going to make some that big because I think he's going to like them. And um, like in the summertime, I noticed that, you know, when you're really hot and you want to white something, those are going to be perfect because of the cotton. If you go back to when handkerchiefs were in style, they, when I was a little girl, I had some. My, grand, my granny had given me some. But they were too special to use. I just put them in my little purse when I went to church. And if I ever needed a tissue, I had a hanky in my purse. And then we would just wash them if I used them. If you cried, you had a hanky. So maybe it's just the whole old soul in me that kind of has that romantic, old-fashioned view on things. I'm okay with that. I like that part of me. So I could ramble, apparently, about facial tissues and facial hankies and stuff but that's what I'm doing so this is my first project for this and I have some outside this type of stuff I have some other things that I'm going to be doing that I'm kind of looking forward to and they're going to be for me the best part about retiring is like I can finally do some things that are for me that bring me pleasure some things that I've been wanting to do and these things I've been wanting to do for three or four months and um, and I think that this will bring me pleasure. Once it's done, it's done. But I have some other projects that I'm looking forward to doing. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope this was something of an idea. I know that other people did this when there was a shortage of toilet paper. They were doing this. But I don't know how many people have continued this idea. It was something that I wanted to do. But... I already had a stash of toilet paper, so I wasn't, no, I didn't go out and hoard it from everybody. What I always did was I would buy two large packages when they were on sale, and then when I got down, I would go and buy two more at the next sale. Well, we don't get those kind of sales anymore. So I do still buy them, but I only buy one because just to have, so we never run out. But now, um, once I get the disposable toilet paper, we shouldn't be going through it as much. And facial tissues, we were um, not going through too bad. So I don't have a problem washing things. So, and I like the idea of no lint in my dryer. So anyways, I rambled, I'm tired. So I think that's why I rambled or no, I always ramble. Anyways, I hope you had a beautiful day. I hope that your night is restful and that you get plenty of rest. I plan on plenty of rest tonight. And may God bless you and provide blessings to you and yours. Good night.